Dream Chelsea versus Manchester City lineup when Elise started. Formation 4 2 3 1. For the goalkeeper, it looks like Robert Sanchez will be used, especially as Enzo himself said that he is a fan of Sanchez. Meanwhile, right back Malo Gusto will definitely be the one to play, considering Reggie James received a red card at the end of the match. And the centre back will be Axel Disasi, even though Wesley Fofana's condition is currently improving. And the other centre back, the possibility of a new replacement for Thiago Silva, Tosin Adarabioyo, will be used against Manchester City. Meanwhile, Mark Cucurella will fill left back, considering his impressive performance at the end of the season. Meanwhile, the defensive midfielder will be filled by Moises Caicedo, a player whose position is irreplaceable. And another defensive midfielder will be Enzo Fernandez, considering that Conor Gallagher's situation at Chelsea is uncertain. And the attacking midfielder will be Chelsea's top scorer last season, namely Cole Palmer. And the right wing will be filled with a player who is Chelsea's favourite target, namely Michael Olise. Meanwhile, the left wing will be filled by Christopher Nkunku, who has fully recovered and his time has shown his quality. And for striker, Nicholas Jackson will still be filled, and this position Chelsea is also eyeing John Duran. Okay guys, that's the prediction for Chelsea's lineup when they face the first match against Manchester City. What do you think? Don't forget to write in the comments column below. Transfer expert Fabrizio Romano has released a major Chelsea transfer teaser in his latest YouTube video regarding one of Chelsea's big targets this summer. This has been in Chelsea's headlines for weeks, and they want to go ahead and resolve the issue. Romano provided an update on Chelsea's efforts to sign Michael Olise from Crystal Palace in the summer transfer window after he became a priority target for the Blues. Chelsea are also chasing a new striker, but it looks like they are putting a lot of energy into getting Elise's deal done quickly. He said, while Chelsea are looking for a striker, Operation Elise is still ongoing. I will update you in the next few hours and days on this. Chelsea activated all their best possibilities for Elise and tried to reach an agreement. West Ham top race for Chelsea defender. West Ham target Trevo Chaloba is unlikely to join Tottenham this summer, according to Football London reporter Alastair Gold. Spurs, along with Manchester United, are believed to be the Hammers' main rivals for the Chelsea defender's signature, but Alastair Gold says Ange Postacoglu's side will not be able to offer the player the playing time he needs. Spurs have long been interested in Chelsea's Trevo Chaloba, but the 24-year-old has started most games for the Blues after returning from injury and hopes to do the same elsewhere if forced to move this summer. Conversely, West Ham could promise Chaloba regular first-team football, making them a more attractive destination for the centre-back. Then the question arises, how much should West Ham pay for this Chelsea player? It is reported that the club will sanction his sale if they accept an offer of around £25 million. The injured Chelsea player took to his Instagram account today and sent a message that will get Blues fans excited ahead of preseason. The players will return to Cobham next month to return to training and prepare to start preseason again ahead of the main season. They will welcome back several injured players, and one of them is Romeo Lavia, who spent most of last season injured. He has returned to off-season workouts, and he posted a picture and quote today. As you can see above, Lavia posted a quote saying, I love it when I get back into that mode. This will no doubt excite Chelsea fans who are eager to see Lavia back training at Chelsea and hopefully back playing at Chelsea ahead of next season and beyond. Romano shares Chelsea's latest news regarding Omarodion. Chelsea are interested in signing Atletico centre forward Samu Omarodion this summer. Romano, speaking on his YouTube channel, stated that Chelsea liked Omarodion, but was considering other options, including John Duran, Romano explained. The player has a release clause in his contract, 80 million euros. This is the value of the clause. For Samu Omarodion, Chelsea clearly have no intention of spending that kind of money, so the only way Chelsea can make it happen is by seeking an agreement with Atletico Madrid, 
not triggering a clause in his contract. But Chelsea's interest is genuine. Chelsea likes the player. Let me clarify. What I heard tonight is that he is not the only one, as Chelsea continue to consider other options. Among these options, there is also John Duran. How Jackson felt when Chelsea tried to recruit a new striker. I really wonder what Nicholas Jackson actually thought when he saw the name of what kind of striker Chelsea were in talks to try and sign this summer. Jackson arrived last summer and has had a very slow start to his Chelsea career. His confidence grew and his performances became much better. He finished the season strongly. But there is no doubt that he is still a young and raw striker who is adapting to the Premier League and thriving. So why Chelsea would even consider buying another striker that reflects that is beyond belief. Various reports say that Chelsea have been and are still in talks to recruit John Duran from Aston Villa or Samu Omorodion from Atletico Madrid. Both are only 20 years old and are players who have yet to be proven to have potential. Jackson must be wondering why Chelsea would want to bring in another striker of the same stature as him, rather than an older striker who would not hinder his long-term future at Chelsea, and could also provide him with leadership, experience and nurturing on the training pitch and in the team. That's before even mentioning the fact that this squad is in dire need of more established players and proven quality experience. This is an obvious problem, and one that almost every Chelsea fan, pundit, and former player has noticed and mentioned multiple times last season. The striker position is the most important to get right. Graham Potter has still not returned to the world of management since being fired. Although it has been rumored he will take on a number of big roles since leaving Stamford Bridge, Teams such as Ajax are tipped to make him their next manager. However, it seems he has been biding his time to return to the Premier League, and this looked set to happen when the vacancy at Leicester City arose. They lost their manager, Enzo Maresca, when Chelsea called him up to replace Mauricio Pochettino. Although things haven't gone well for Potter at Stamford Bridge, it can be said that he is still a very promising head coach, and will no doubt be successful wherever he goes next. There are even some calling for him to become England's next manager, potentially replacing Gareth Southgate after the current European Championship. Massimo Ambrosini gives advice to Riccardo Calafiori. Former AC Milan star Massimo Ambrosini believes a move to Arsenal would be better for Calafiori than a move to Chelsea, but he also admits he could play in any top Premier League squad. Speaking to OLBG, former AC Milan star Massimo Ambrosini said, Ricardo Calafiori from Bologna. He's had an extraordinary season. For me, he has everything to play at the top level and be in a Premier League squad in the future. He can play center back, left back, and under Thiago Mota at Bologna. He started moving into midfield and even playing like a striker. He has everything. He loves playing ball. Bologna are one of the first or second teams in the Italian league to control the ball. So I think Arsenal would be perfect for him. He can play in the center or on the left, maybe in Oleksandr Zinchenko's role. That would be perfect for him. 